Welcome to this tech tip from Envision CAD. This is Ron and what we're going to look at is creating a coordinate table to put on a plan set. There's multiple multiple ways of completing this and we'll just look at it one quick method. I do have a geometry project in memory and I do have uh, Kogo points that go with it and all I'm going to do is go to my inroads commands which are now incorporated into the microstation environment if you choose to use them that way. But I'm going to go to my inroads commands and select geometry, view geometry, and horizontal annotation. And what I've done is I said I want to annotate all of the Kogo points that I have in my particular geometry project. Naturally we could filter through those if we wish to. And what I want to do is instead of labeling them on the screen, I want to send them to a table. If I select the tabling tab, I want to tell it to send all element information to that table. When I select apply, it'll automatically generate an XML report and open the uh, report browser. And I can see that I have a table in here. Now depending on the format or the style sheet I have, there's different tables I can select. I can either write this out to Excel or I can simply drag, right click, and copy. Go back to MicroStation. Select the MicroStation place text command. And depending on my text settings, um, you know, the height, the width, the line spacing, I can simply right click and paste that into my text editor. Now that I have it in my text editor, I can place it in my MicroStation drawing wherever I choose to have that table. It's as simple as that, depending on the font that's selected. Let me paste that back in there. And maybe if I pick um, an evenly spaced font, something as, uh, let's see, I think this engineering font may be evenly spaced. There we go. Drop that in my drawing. And you can see how I have the, the rows and columns are separated a little bit more than they were with the um, Times New Roman font. So it's just a MicroStation text element at this point. You can take it, move it, edit it, do whatever you want to do with it. Now that's one method. Now I'm just going to remove those and show you another method real quick here. The other thing that I could have done is when I did that annotation, it did open up that geometry report browser. Instead of doing a simple cut and paste, we can right click on that data, and I'm sorry you probably can't see it on the flyout menu here, but if I right click one of the things I can do is export to Microsoft Excel. You can also find that up on the top if we do a save as, Excel is one of the options. But I'm just going to use the right click flyout here and see if I can get this to uh, fly out on the screen. So if I want to export to Microsoft Excel, it'll write the portion of the table that I did the right click on out to Microsoft Excel. Now I no longer need that report but let's drag Excel back into the picture here and resize it a little bit. If I do want to eliminate data, just the standard Excel stuff, we'll uh, delete some columns, come in here, do a little bit of formatting, maybe I do want a, a gridded table displayed, maybe a single heading here, and I would like that text to be bold and maybe this text to be bold and overall have a uh, thick border around my text. Now there's a couple ways to do this. I'm just going to take an easy way and I am going to cut and paste it into my drawing. Now the other way to do it, I'm sorry I'm going to copy and paste it in. The other way to do it is to link it in so that there's a dynamic link in between the spreadsheet and your drawing. We won't look at <clears throat> Excuse me, won't look at that right now. If I simply go back to MicroStation, go to Edit and select Paste, I can paste this in either by dynamically picking the, the corners of where I want it to go, or I could have picked by different size. Now you see the table is cross hatched here. That means it's open in Excel. As soon as I go to close Excel, that cross hatching would go away. And you can see I picked, I've got some extra space in here, but in reality that's going to be white printed on a white background, so you wouldn't see that extra um, data range in there. Now the other way to do that, if I do want a dynamic link back to Excel, instead of simply pasting it, we would do paste special, and we can do a linked Excel spreadsheet, and now when I paste that in, put it in approximately the same size, it's in there. 
if I go to close the Excel spreadsheet, we'll just do a save as here, and we'll just say this this is a table that Excel Excel and close Excel. Now you can see I've got that table in there twice. This is in the MicroStation file natively. There's no linking back to Excel. This one happens to be linked. If I double click on it, it automatically launches Excel. Any changes that I make in here, for instance, maybe I'd like to see commas in my data. Let's go ahead and add those in. And I save that out. And let's exit Excel again. You can see the table dynamically updated based on that um, current contents of the Excel spreadsheet. So that's this month's tip. Thank you for watching.